The Gutenberg block editor has many advantages over the classic editor, but that power comes with a price. The classic approach used HTML and CSS in your theme template files to customize the look and feel of your content. Although you can still use CSS to customize default Gutenberg blocks provided by Core, real flexibility comes from building custom blocks, which requires a solid working knowledge of JavaScript and React. Alternatively, you can take advantage of your existing PHP knowledge and use ACF blocks functionality to build new custom blocks. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of what this looks like. Before we dive in, however, just a quick note to let you know that we have a corresponding article, which provides all the code covered in this video, in addition to a super helpful case study as you build your own custom blocks using ACF. Check out the links in the description. To start, we register a custom block type in your functions.php file, similar to the way we would register WordPress custom post types. As you can see, we have the functions exists function to check whether or not ACF is active to help prevent an error from being thrown if for whatever reason it isn't. Within the ACF register block type function, we have a number of options available to us. The name field identifies the block. The title is how it displays for your block. The description allows you to provide a short explainer description for your block. The render template refers to the path to a template file used to render the block HTML. This can either be a relative path to a file within the active theme or a full path to any file. Blocks are grouped into categories to help users browse and discover them. The core provided categories are common, formatting, layout, widgets, and embed. Plugins and themes can also register custom block categories. The icon property can be specified to help make it easier to identify a block. These can be any of WordPress's dash icons or a custom SVG element. Keywords are an array of search terms to help users discover the block while searching. Now there are many more options available to you when crafting your own blocks. Check out the ACF documentation, again, linked in the description. The next step is to create a block group for your block. Note that any and all ACF fields can be used within your block and there are no limitations. That said, we don't recommend using complex or large amounts of fields. Keep your blocks as lightweight and as simple as possible. From the location rules, use the block rule to select your newly registered block type. Lastly, you'll need to tell ACF to render the block, which is essentially the same process used to display custom fields. To do this, we need to create a template file within your theme that matches the render template setting used when registering the block. There are several ways to render a block. In this example, we've broken our code into four parts. First, we create an ID variable, which contains the anchor value from the block settings. The ID variable will be used later as the ID attribute of the container div, as well as to apply styles to that container. Next, we create a class name variable, which contains the class name and align values from the block settings. This will be used later for the class value on the container div. Then we load in the user entered ACF fields and assign defaults. Finally, we output the HTML as it will display for the end user. As we touched on earlier, here's where we can target this testimonial by its ID and class. If you want your testimonials all to have the same general style, we could target the class. And if we wanted one specific element to have a variant style, we could target the ID in that instance. And that's it. As mentioned previously, be sure to check out the links in the description, both for the code examples used in this video, along with all the other resources you'll need to get up and running with your own custom blocks using ACF. And as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.